Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have two hands, because you'll need them both, to clap for our host for the night, Max Bettendorf. All right, that was incredible. Thank you for that, Ben. Hello and welcome to Welcome to the Show. I'm your host, Maxwell Bettendorf, and love is in the air on this special Valentine's Day episode of the show. Today I am joined by local movie star, Burke DeBoer, and also joined by our in-studio band for the night, TJ Band. How are you guys doing, TJ? Pretty good. Actually, our friend Jasper has an album. Oh, really? You got an album coming out? What's that yeah, album it's called? It's called Dapper by Japper. Dapper by Japper. Where can you find that? Bandcamp Kickstarter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kickstarter. All right. That's fair and hey. Dap by Chapper. All right. You should definitely check that out. All right. Excellent. And I will talk to you guys more later on. So let's talk with Ben. Hey, Max. How you doing there, Ben? You happy on this Valentine's Day? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it seems as though you want me to ask you why you're not doing so well on this Valentine's Day. Well, Max, it's Valentine's Day, and I don't have a valentine. What are you talking about? I know you have a girlfriend. She's here in the studio with you right now. Oh, I do. I yeah. do have a girlfriend. You know, you know, let's bring her on here. Oh, oh, come yeah. on, Robin. Oh, yeah. Why doesn't Robin walk in here? Ben, how could you forget that you have a girlfriend? She's your valentine. I mean, well, I've been eating a lot of mercury lately. Here she is. No, you can uh, sit there. Oh, okay. you get to sit in the, in the special guest side of the couch. Oh. So, Ben, it's a... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. It's your wow. girlfriend, Ben, your Valentine. So mm -hmm. what, what plans do you guys have tonight? Well, you know what? She, well, you, uh, your ears are just so cute. No. I just want to just... Uh, Max, what do you do for Valentine's Day? Ben, you got to take her out to... You, uh, she well, can, well, you, you just signal to me what I got to do. And okay, then so it sounds I, easier that way. It wouldn't... Yeah. <laughs> so what you well, what I, we're going to buy some forks. I, that Together. sounds like, yeah, it sounds like a great Valentine's Heart Day. Heart-shaped forks, and then... Do we have those? We, we don't have those yet. That's why we're buying them, dear. Okay. And then we are going to get some goggles and wave to some people in a parade. That's... Like beauty queen. That's like about that the... You are. <laughs> that's, that is the strangest And I can plan. come to you anyway. <laughs> that, that's your plan for Valentine's Day. And then we'll finish the night off with a little bit of prayer... But a prayer in a weird way that we put the thing, the hands to her ear. So Interesting. yeah. Interesting. How plan. does that sound? Sounds uh, sounds really great. Sounds great. Sounds great. Sounds great. Sounds great. Wait, 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 hold on. Did that seem genuine to you? No, not a, not in the least bit. But okay. it I think does, I'm out of the woods though. <laughs> so your plan for Valentine's Day with uh, Robin here is to go out and buy heart-shaped forks. I already forgot it, so please remind me. Then, oh, <laughs> and then after that, you are going to. A parade. A parade We're gonna with goggles uh, and wave it. Because the floats are very high speed, so yeah, the goggles course, are necessary. And then I, got, I bought the expensive float. Right. <laughs> the root beer float, as I call it. And you'll end the night, of course, by praying with your hands. Praying to St. Valentine. To St. Valentine. It, it's a beautiful night. That sounds like a great plan. We're going back to our roots for Valentine's Day. <laughs> well, that sounds very romantic. And uh, speaking of romantic outings there, Ben, I do have to say that we sent out our very own Jared Lowe to the streets to ask Oregon State students what their plans are for the evenings. And well, let's check out what they did in this week's installment of the Corvallis Questionnaire. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jared Lowe, and this is the Corvallis Questionnaire for Welcome to the Show. And uh, I'm uh, asking some questions from the wonderful people of Corvallis, Oregon, on the campus of Oregon State University about Valentine's Day. So, happy Valentine's Day. Welcome to the show, Hannah. This is Thank Welcome you, to the Show. Okay. Hey, so what's your name? Charlie, right? Yeah. Charlie. Cruiser. Charlie Cruiser. Okay. All right, guys. Um, you know, I've got um John Getze here with me today. Your name is? Oh, I'm Natalie. Okay, Natalie. <laughs> I'm Sam. Sam. 
Okay, Valentine's Day questions coming your way right now. Okay, so have you guys been on um, some dates before? <laughs> I'm sure you have. What? Like in, in the in the past, yeah, I've yeah. been on a dinosaur age. Okay, okay. So can you describe your best date? Best date. Oh wow. Okay. If you can remember. <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been a while. No. Uh, so my boyfriend at the time, he like surprised me in the morning with flowers and stuff, and then he took me to dinner at um, this really cool place with cheesecake and whatever, and then we went to a movie, and then that was it. That was pretty good. Sounds wonderful. It sounds like a really good date. And what's the best date you've been on? Uh, they took me to the beach because the beach is my favorite place. Or I guess that was it. That was just really fun and it was chill and got like Taco Bell. Oh, there you go. Taco Bell, Bell is always a plus. Yes. I get like three Contra. bean burritos. Um, For like uh, those. yeah, good. whatever else. You know, I'll just eat whatever because mm -hmm. I like Taco Bell. I do too. All right. Um, so what's the best date you've been on? Sky High. Have you ever been to like the the, the oh. trampoline place? Yeah, yeah dude, like that place is dope. In, in Tiger. I mean, there's like no rules when you're going know, on a right? date on Sky High. Yeah. It's like, I, I mean, throw some. I bounce there. over little kids. I'll be like, <laughs> boom! I'll be doing so like some front flips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. What's the best date you've been on? Ooh. Uh, that, the best date I've ever been on. I don't know. Probably just like like chill dates, like snowboarding or something. I, okay, I like to be in the snow too, because snowboard. Yeah, 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 okay. Anyways, this is John. Um, John, what's the best Valentine's Day you've ever had in your life? Best Valentine's Day I've ever had in my life. Uh, Jared, it's when I spent one uh, with you in a, my dream last night. Oh, <laughs> all right, uh, this guy a little weird, but anyways, I'm humbled. Describe the most terrible date you've ever been on. I've, okay, this is sad. I haven't been on like a lot of days. Um, I think I, okay. I, I, um, I think I went to like a movie theater and I spilled something on me, but like that wasn't. Oh, I just you, don't go on a lot of. Days. You were hoping for the kiss, and then you spilled it on yourself, and you're like, oh, yeah. I gotta go to the bathroom. It already looked Shit. like I went to the bathroom. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, so right on. Okay, yeah. Have you have you been on a lot of dates? Sure. Or he says sure. So what's the worst, ter most terrible date you've ever been on? Oh. If you can remember. Or maybe it's multiple, you can just describe one. Well, the worst day I've ever been on was probably, it was probably like eighth grade. And so there was this girl that I had a huge crush on. Her name was Griffin Reed. And so I asked her out like on a date. And so we go on a date and everything. And I was very convinced that it was a date. And she thought we were just friends. And I tried to kiss mm. her and she slapped me. So. Those are the worst. So that was the worst date I've ever been on. Have you ever been on a terrible date? Yeah, I've been on many terrible dates. Uh, like how many? Uh, more than I can count. <laughs> so um, what do you hate about those dates? Uh, usually the women I'm with. <laughs> <laughs> Are they just like terrible? People? Yeah, I mean, if you can't hold a conversation or something. It's, it's their like, laugh, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> the like, laugh. You know, have maybe you, the hair, face, and body. I don't know. I do. My okay. So what if there was a world without chocolate? If there was a world without chocolate, um, like how would you feel about the world? Would you still like the world? Would you just want to, you know, maybe murder your, yourself? I don't know. Um, I believe that um, here at the Oregon State University College of Engineering, we can do anything. So just and make more chocolate. If there's a world without chocolate, then we can find a perfect alternative. So there is well, I don't know what an alternative to chocolate is. There is no such thing as no, Jared. I, I've heard no before plenty of times, so I know that no is a thing in this life. <laughs> okay, <laughs> anyways, that's it for you, John. Okay. Have a merry day. Oh, you as well. Have a fantastic weekend. You too. Yeah, it's actually only Tuesday, but... Yeah, I'm channeling it right now. Have a good one. Amazing. That was really incredible. All right, joining Ben and myself today is a dear friend of ours who had just released a new film from the company Body in the Window Seat titled Misfortune County. 
and is currently filming a new movie titled Co Todd Cot Clobbered. Please welcome Burke DeBoer. Yeah. Oh. I like the rocket. Oh, no, that scares me. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> The denim on denim look. Oh, thank you. The Canadian you. tuxedo. A, the Canadian oh. tuxedo, absolutely. Did they the steal flag. that from you? Were you going to say that? Did you steal that from me? No, Did I it? stole that from you. Okay. I thought it was a really <laughs> clever quip. I was taking that. This is very nice. Yeah, it's, I, I, I'm into it. Tux <laughs> Canadian tuxedo. It's very fine. So, how are you doing today? I'm doing real well. We're doing fine on this Valentine's Day. Fine and dandy. <laughs> Well, Usually I'm just one of the two. Yeah. He's both, like rubbing in our yeah, face. Yeah, I've got I'm like the one percent here. You arrogant <laughs> bastard. <laughs> ah, I'm just giving you just giving oh, you a God. hard time. Well Burke, I did uh, as I mentioned on your intro here, you have been working on a new film. You're working on right. you just finished a film, it just debuted over all of Oregon. Great <laughs> Prineville and Monmouth. Prineville and <laughs> All of Oregon. All of Oregon. <laughs> Everywhere that anybody needs to go to see this movie and it's well you know how how did you get into acting in the first place you started at a young age right and now you've worked into a full movie that's been shown in theaters so what what started you yeah I um I started out you know middle school and high school uh doing school plays basically and my friend Nathaniel who's who directed Miss Fortune County wrote and directed Miss Fortune County uh him and I started making a lot of sort of videos together with the camcorder in the backyard type business. And Darian Campo, who's the third part of our company, Body in the Window Seat, got involved in high school. And um, outside of working on plays, we worked on basically student films. Oh. Wow, that's incredible. And you, you spent a lot of time working on these films. You've had how many released now? Yeah, we, Misfortune County is our third feature film. Um, our first one, we started pretty much right after me and Nathaniel graduated from high school, and that took 18 months. Oh, wow. Uh, and Jeez. Miss Fortune County, we were able to do just over the summer break. Which is, So yeah. it's, it's really great to just step up the professionalism and the product each time, like learn it, learn it as we go. Of course, and like you just said, you did release uh, Miss Fortune County. You worked on it mostly over the summer, but you've done other movies while doing a full production film while a full-time student. That's a lot to juggle. Yeah, yeah, and we've, we've worked with people who uh, are full-time working and full-time studying and then trying to help, you know, with the film. So there's a lot of uh, scheduling. A lot, of, a lot of planning. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got to plan. That's why sometimes <laughs> it takes 18 months oh, there to, you go. to film yeah. something. I mean, just planning out Ben here is enough of yeah. a job. I have to plan out what I wear in the morning. Yeah, Ben is... <laughs> well, my mom does. It doesn't quite take 18 I months for him. <laughs> <laughs> your mom still fixes out your clothes for you? Well, well, she did a good job. Tell everyone hey, you that. look great. You look great today. I think so. <laughs> well, you are currently working on another film, Todd Got Clobbered. That's right. And uh, you told me earlier that you have filmed the, what do you call it, the flashbacks to a f the film. And yeah. And you're filming yeah. more of it coming up soon. Yeah, we, because we, when you film, you know, you have to film out of order, uh, depending on what's needed. So, like, I was clean shaven. Um, and sort of a little better styled hair. <laughs> um, it looks great. I mean, I don't want to take that away from you. Oh, thank you. I don't want you. you to put yourself down. Thank you. On very my much. account. Thank you. I know you have such a tendency a nice to person. do that. I didn't. I didn't realize <laughs> you had it in you to be this nice. It's Valentine's Day. It's the love. It's, once it's per Valentine's year. Valentine's Day. The it's once per year. <laughs> <laughs> the one day. The one day. That's, um, it. That's all you get. Yeah, and and so so we shot the flashback sequences, and then over spring term and going into summer, we're gonna. We're going to really get into filming the rest of the feature, which you can follow us on Instagram or Facebook. Body in the Window Seat is the name of our company. And you can, we'll be doing the production diaries and the whole nine yards, keeping everyone informed. And I assume it's MPAA approved? Well. Well, you know. Well. Hold on. I'm moving to the edge of my seat for the response. Get ready for it. Now, deliver. No. Oh! Just, okay. You literally knocked him off his seat with yeah. that one. Literally. Now, now I was on the precipice. Now, <laughs> ben wants to get into acting. Ben wants to be a big time actor. His favorite role to play is that of the tree. Is well, there a place for him in your movie? 
Do you have trees? There are Oregon. many trees in this state. And um, if yeah. you don't want to, because I know the big budget films, they can afford the real trees, you know, the real ones. But if you need a fake one, because you guys are lower budget, I can. A ben plays a good trick. Get some construction it's paper going in. on, a little paper mache well, action. I, I don't know if I have that kind of budget. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He, All he right. typically stands with his arms out. And let's my, see it, let's see it. Uh, go ahead, yeah, show us, show us your Arms talent. out, okay. How am I doing? More? No, uh, I think it's great. You're, that's, is that's, this better? You or, know, you're very deciduous. Um, <laughs> try, try, try going for more of a coniferous look for us. <laughs> <laughs> what? What kind of tree are you in? I didn't realize I need like an arbology degree. <laughs> <didn't know> <laughs> you gotta know what you're doing. Another role that he can play is that of the boulder. If the trees are taken, you can be the boulder. I mean, my Ooh. acting career, it all started when my mom said act your age because I was crying in the grocery store. And she said that, and you know, two weeks later, here we are. I'm acting <laughs> literally, still. Literally yep. two weeks later. Yep. <laughs> it's happened two weeks ago. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, glad that, I'm glad that the acting bugs bit you because we need trees and we need boulders. Yeah. That's true. Do they leave a real mark, or should I get that checked out? The or is a proverbial <laughs> acting bug? <laughs> well, Pro the proverbial bug. Oh, um, okay, I'll put that away then. Get that checked out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, I've got to ask though, Burke, when you're done with Todd Got Clobbered, what yes. is next for Burke? What is next? Well, um, I've got a script that I've been working on for, it's actually a short, it's not a feature, uh. um, which I'm hoping to be my directorial debut. Hey. I'm filming over the summer. So you wouldn't be starring in this one that you're coming up? No, no, I wouldn't want to star in it. Like, I've never directed before, so having to direct myself and direct the camera, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could work it into your lines. Like, you say, cut to camera two, and then maybe that's part of the story. Oh, and dang. then the camera hears Ooh, it as well. Rewrites. We're going into rewrites. Oh, this is already written. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you already got it written. Well, it, it's a rough draft. Do um, I get writing credits? Yeah, absolutely. Can you write it? Absolutely. If you're still writing, Ben does play a mean boulder. Yeah. yeah. We need, always we'll need option. boulders I can stand perfectly to be still. bouldered or it, upon. Or I can move if you want to go that direction with a boulder. He can, oh, he can be a can moving move. boulder. Okay. Yeah. Like okay. He'll gather no moss. Roll down a hill. Yeah. That's fair. So, uh, Burke, though, you like acting. You enjoy acting. Sure, you, it's fine. You're good at acting. All right, well, I've got, a, I've got a game we can play, actually. It's more of a scene reading that we're going to do. Ooh, I had one okay. of my writers write us a very dramatic, it's almost okay. Spanish soap opera-esque scene. That, I don't speak Spanish. Well, you don't have to. This was okay. written in English, luckily. And, uh, as Spanish soap operas are. As they, as they always are. They just spoke in Spanish. They're written in English, always. Um, however, I decided to do a bit of a twist on this. So when we do this scene, we will actually have Ben on the side with different actions and changes for us to make during the scene and directions, as, as you could call it. And he will hand those to us, and we have to implement that into our scene acting. Okay. So I've okay. got right here... I've got our scenes. These are the oh, scripts. Yeah, yeah, these on, these are the in. scripts. These, these here are the scripts. That's, that's for Ben. Yeah. All right, then. We've got the music. We've got the lighting. We've got the mood. Let's get into it. Why don't we just uh, take Listen a step over here? On. This scene is called Dramatic Scene. Hey, what's that face about? What's wrong? You may want to sit down. What's got you in such a fright? It's your son, Carlos. What happened to Carlos? He was in a car accident. No! Yes. The doctors aren't sure he's going to make it. Well, I guess this is good as good a time as any. Max, there's something I need to tell you. What is it? It's Carlos. Tell me what you need to tell. He's... He's not my son. What? You are. What? After all these years, how is that even possible? Sarah is your mother. We had a fling back in middle school, and after a couple of warm beers and bad yo mama jokes, well, here we are in this volcano. <laughs> I trusted you. You told me you would never lie to me. And you lied to me. 
that was a lie. I'm a dirty, rotten liar, my son. You are no father to me. Max, is there anything I can do? I want to know the truth. The whole truth. But I don't want to hear it from you. Who are you calling? Sarah, I want to get to the bottom of this. Oh, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> Answer your phone, phone Sarah. Sarah, please. Max, what have, I, what have I done to deserve a call from you, my friend? You know, you sound a lot like a man there, Sarah. But I have laryngitis. What do you want from me? That's a horrible disease to have, Sarah. It's not that bad. <laughs> there is no need to pretend anymore. I know you are my real mother. Hold that thought. Do 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 the Harlem Shake. You are my mother. I know it. Okay, this is hard to watch. Let's just put it into this right now. Actually, this whole movement you're doing with your body, and let's go on with what I was saying. What were you saying? What were you saying, Max? I'm old. I don't have a good with, memory. I'm with Burke. The lying bastard is right behind me, cowering behind a chair after I did my three-year-old Harlem shake. Oh, Burke, how is that old son of a bitch? He's my father, and you are my mother. What? Yes. Your, your mother? <laughs> what is this you are saying? And are you with Burke? He, yes, he's the lying bastard hiding behind me. I oh, yeah, that. I forgot. I, this was mentioned right previously. Well, don't call him a lying bastard because he isn't the bastard, Max. What are you talking about? You are. What? He just told me that he was my father. That was what I told him. I lied because I loved him, but I don't anymore. So I guess it's finally tell, it's finally time to tell you the truth. And that truth is, Chad is your father. You are, you are such a slow speaker. <laughs> I got you. Who My the, tongue is a little cold is Chad? today. Chad? Chad? Chad is a criminal, not Chad. Wait, I know. But he used to be on Dreamboat. I, I mean, he used to be a Dreamboat. But he was on the TV show Dreamboat. What is it, Max? What Wait, is no, I'm telling of love you? Boat. My life is falling apart. I can't believe you have been lying to me all these years. I, I, I can't trust anyone anymore. Call you back, honey. What did she say to you? She said, she said that Chad is my father. But she told me you were mine. It's better than Chad. Then again, Chad was a dreamboat. That's what she said. Wait, how are you, Ben? What is happening? How are you doing? I Welcome to the this show. What's happening? Someone's asking how I am? Taking genuine Wait. interest in my life? Who's how the are you doing boats? today, Ben? I don't know. I never really put that much thought into it. Oh, Burke, if you don't mind, we're in the middle of a scene here. Let's get right then back again, into it. Then again, Chad was a dreamboat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, he's not the dreamboat, Burke. You are. Sarah. Sarah. It says, it says for you to say Sarah here. <laughs> I'm going to say it anyway, because I like the sound of my own name. Oh, <laughs> yes, it is true. I have always loved you, Burke. And I will happily raise our son, Max, beside you. I am like 20. You are a tad late. It's never too late to build a happy family. Wait. But if Chad is my father and Sarah is my mother, then who is Carlos? You are. You are. You are. You are! You are! Hold on, Max! They're telling me who you are! You're Carlos! I learned that now. Yeah. And none of this makes sense. That's it! Is that it? That's it. Oh. Can, That's we, it. can we keep going? Get a writer in here. Let's do this <laughs> on the fly. Oh, so how are you, Ben? Genuinely. Or, did you write in? I can see through your disingenuousness. So you wrote in that he has to ask how you are. Is that? Let me see, let me see this. Yeah. This is, this is what we ended well, up with? Well, I thought that would happen during intermission, but <laughs> it was a pretty short scene. Ask Ben how he is. Wow. Well, how is the Ben? The band? 
<laughs> it is real good. That was some good play in the band. The oh, TJ thank band. Thank you. The well, TJ band. While we are on this topic of acting in Valentine's Day after what was a very confusing and romantically dramatic scene. Very romantic. <laughs> what <Way> a, romantic. <laughs> I felt you guys were being kind of weak. Like, it was hard for you guys to keep up with me. Oh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. Yeah. A lot of, lot he really outacted us. You know, that's, I, his, that's his talents as a boulder. Oh. Yes, quite. Sailor but, boulder. <laughs> why don't we uh, take a look at a skit that we filmed representing the Valentine's Day mob massacre in 1929. Very, very interesting. Actually, Burke and Ben both played a scene in this skit. So why don't we take a look at that skit that I'm calling Kill Him With Love. All right, gentlemen. I think you know what we have in the room next to this one. <laughs> that's right. We've got some members of that other gang that's been trying to step into our territory. So, uh, so what do you want us to do with them? Oh, I want you to show them a real good time. Take them out. Give them what they need and what they deserve. You and me, we're going in the... <coughs> uh, that should be, uh, you and I. And who are you? Oh, well, I'm, uh... Oh, I'm, I'm Mervyn's mechanic. He got a call during an inspection, and, uh, you know, he asked if I could go mobile. Ever since my wife left me, it's, uh, you know, I've just been trying to, you know, expand my... Yeah, nobody cares. This was supposed to be a private meeting, Mervyn. <laughs> Meaning, don't bring your mechanic along. Your name is Mervyn? <laughs> Gilbert? You have no room to talk. <laughs> <laughs> your name is... Gilbert? <laughs> Shut up! Eugene? Ah! Whoa, that's not cool, man. I told you my name in confidence. Oh, you, oh, you tell him you name? Yeah, I tell him my name. I'm not oh, gonna tell you my name. Oh, oh okay. okay. That makes okay. me feel bad. I'll tell you my name. Hey, <laughs> what's your name? Uh, well, yeah, I'm yeah, my no, grandpa. No, oh, why do you want to his name? Well, in the Pocono, it's last name. I don't Oh, my. What the hell is it? Why are you telling Gosh, I'm working with idiots. I think I was a idiots! Let's get back on track. No, oh, no can do. The uh, alignment on this car is totally off. We're going to have to take it in for a pretty serious adjustment. I wasn't talking about the car. I was... You know what? It's not even worth it. Just stay quiet over there, okay? Okay, just don't need to be so rude about it. What was that? Nothing. Okay, back to it. Where was I? You were saying how we're gonna take him out and show him a real good time. Ah, <laughs> yes. Thank you, Dilbert. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, come on, let's be serious here. Really, Eugene, really? What is it? Yeah, uh, I'm just a little confused on what you actually want us to do with them. Like. Like, I think I know what you mean, but I don't think I know what you mean. Yeah, I, I agree with Eugene on this one. Uh, so, are we, are we like putting them down? Yes. I mean, if it goes that far. Uh, what? What? There's no judgment here. I mean, that still accomplishes the goal of the massacre. Yeah, well, I, I don't think I understand what you're, uh, what you're talking about, boss. Do you, do you guys? No, no. That's right. no. We're going to kill them. Duh! <laughs> all right, all right. All right. With love. Love. behind this, oh, what? What? Well, uh, why don't we kill them with bullets? Or crowbars. Or piano wire. Or puppies, kindness, you know, courtesy, love. Love? Yeah, it's this new thing I read about in Oprah, if you really want to win the battles over your enemies, you need to beat them with love. So, no piano wire. Not unless you're serenading them with music. Oh, oh, so, so no crowbars? No. <coughs> unless it's to help fix their car. Oh, I can do that. Oh, you're still here? I completely forgot about you. Yeah, so did my wife. Go back to being out of my thoughts, okay? Yeah. Bye-bye now. So, 
No breaking in my new Tommy gun? Nope, biddy, nope. Unless it's in bonding over a shared interest. So, we're not going to kill them. You guys must not be understanding me. We are going to kill them. Okay. okay. With kindness! So let's get to it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Come on, let's... It, it, it'll be fun, guys! Guys, come on, we... G g guys, wait a second, we... Guys, please! Well... I, I know a thing or two about being walked out on. What a great skit we had there. Of course, Ben and Burke's performances were phenomenal. I'd like to, uh, I'd like to say thank you to my very special guest, Burke Tabor, as well as to our in-studio band, the TJ Band. I would like to say thanks to my co-host, Ben Lawrence, and of course, to all of you watching at home. And as always, until next time.